Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. This is not right. It can never be right and it shall never be right. We are not going to live in a country like that of Eid Amin. We are not going to live in a country like that which we've left behind. When you woke up in one night, you found my brother Wesley is murdered. When you woke up, you hear, you hear someone has disappeared. When you woke up and found someone is being tortured, go and read the human, the Munyama human rights uh, uh, reports and see the atrocities which were being committed in the First Republic and Second Republic. You cannot be a young man born be after, uh, after, before independence, having been bequeathed the power by the people of Zambia to look after them and be the one to be burying them one after another. I want to call you, Hara Inde Ichlem, get up, step up, get Musamba to hand over JJ back to his family. I want to call upon you, step up. If you are not the one responsible, step up and say, it shall not be done under my name. You have been looking at the abuse of senior citizens in this country with glee and gladness. That is not the attitude of a leader. That is the attitude of a person who is a sadist. There's no mother in this republic who wake up and hear their child has been abducted and have sleep. Every mother's womb at this moment is reeling with fear and anger because of the abduction of JJ. Every mother, every woman in this country is angry. You men of this republic, what, have, what has Mother Zambia done to you? That you should dismiss it abuse it and give a black spot to our nation, the beautiful Zambia. The Zambia that the world knows is a peace-loving place. When your police officers say there is insecurity in that place so you can't have a meeting, you are labeling this country as a crime-ridden nation by your own mouth. And now we know why your policemen are saying that uh, there's insecurity. They want to in impart that fear so that everybody is fearful. And you are targeting every person who is criticizing you. How could you target uh, young Chisenga without shame? How could you target JJ, young JJ, without shame? Every opponent of yours is an enemy of the state. And to this point, these diplomats who are disoriented, like Nick, Nick, Nick Woolley, please talk to Haka in the and tell him that this is not the way you govern a country. And we call upon you people who are accredited to Zambia. You're not accredited to Haga in the HLM. You are accredited to the government of the Republic of Zambia. And the government of the Republic of Zambia is not Haka in the HLM, it's the people. We, the people, we put a leader in office and we take that leader out of office. We put a leader in office so that that leader can provide peace and tranquility. But this UPND government, this Hakainde's rotten government is providing insecurity, fear, and discord. This UPND government, single-handedly, Hakainde and his Mr. Musamba and his Kahoot, are creating a situation which is a risk to the existence of the state. This is how you create a third state, Mr. Hakainde Ichilema. This is 
is how you create a failed state. JJ's relatives may not come to talk to you. I want you to know that there is no mother tonight who is sleeping. Every mother is on their knees. And the prayer is not about, please, can we have JJ? The prayer is, God, how can we get rid of this man who is an eyesore to the future of our republic? And that man is yourself. I can tell you, there is no mother in this republic tonight, tonight, in the morning and in the afternoon, who will kneel down and say, please protect the head of state. Because you are not protecting the people you are supposed to lead. An honorable member of parliament is part of government. It appears to you, you PND, you don't understand how government works. No wonder you have the likes of Solochi going to register companies in their personal name. In the demised state of Mr. Solochi, if he registers a company at Pakra as a Solochi and Sons, when he's gone, that company belongs to him. So what is wrong with you people? Humble yourself before God and before your pastors. The pastors in SDA, can you talk to this man? He doesn't represent SDA. SDA is a church of values. SDA is a church of principles of love and peace. And you have one of your followers, one of your leaders, who is behaving like Lucifer on the throne. He's representing Lucifer on earth. We are tired of being abused, harassed. We are tired of waking up to the misery for each child, each mother, each child on the street. Everybody is crying. And, and you are mute. Instead of addressing these people, don't think that your popularity, whether you jail 100 people, will rise. Your popularity will rise when you do what the people want. Want helicopter. Are you planning for them to have dams? Are you planning for the people of the Eastern Province to have dams? Are you planning as to how we are going to transit this drought situation and save lives? You are so, stri you are so stringently confined in your anger. You are consumed by your anger. You cannot even think that drought does not mean hunger. When there's drought, it doesn't mean hunger. Because a good leader stores grain for their people. Rain is not agriculture. What is agriculture? Agriculture is water. Your role as a leader should be to plan on how we are going to store water for agriculture. You can't continue bemoaning everything and getting yourself involved in the disappearance of Zambians. I never thought that after the Second Republic, we would go back to the dark ages when we wake up and hear a bishop has disappeared. When we wake up and hear a good lawyer has disappeared. I never in my life after we transited from totalitarian government, ever thought that a member of parliament, a legislator, a member of government, because you people don't understand that opposition is part of government. I never thought, I never dreamed that it would come to this moment. It is for that reason, for that single reason, that I'm saying, step up, get out of your house, Get young JJ back to the parliament, back to his family. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.